high density slash big city residents. What's the craziest thing you've seen through through someone else's windows? I once saw a person in full Spider-Man costume just watching TV in their apartment, mask and all. Like all night long. This continued each night for all three nights I was in the city. It made me believe that Spider-Man is real, but that he doesn't really have much to do besides watch TV. I love the idea of mediocre superheroes. Even more mediocre than the tick. I lived in a big city and made friends with a few guys who lived across the alley from me. They were out drinking on the deck one night when I got home and they invited me over. So we are drinking and I need to take a piss. Walk back to the bathroom and glance out the window to see a fire on a deck. Then I realize it's my ducking deck that is on fire. Barge in on my roommate who is asleep at this point. Dude put his cigarette out into a cardboard box. It caught fire. Burn through our deck and then on to the neighbors below. Ducking idiot. I live in downtown Toronto and I've seen two people ducking out of a window. As in, the dude was inside, the girl's front half was out the window and they were going at it. It was pretty ducking funny. Fun fact that's tenuously related to this. There's a hotel in Montreal that looks over the football stadium. If you're staying in a suite that overlooks the field when they have a televised game. You have to sign a waiver promising you won't be up to anything with your windows open, since they've had multiple people put on a show for the camera. Not even through the window, but when I was at Penn State I saw a couple ducking on the balcony at about 3am or so. That probably doesn't count though, because college. In Denver, across from where I work, is an apartment building. It is well known throughout my office that there is a man one floor down that spends roughly 4 hours every day playing Destiny 2 while in his underwear. Recently saw him playing Sekiro naked and people were more interested in his game change than they were in his lack of witty tighties. He didn't seem to enjoy it much because he was back on Destiny within the hour according to Mike Aoka. I used to live in an apartment building in the East Village in New York. I was on the back of the building which faced two other buildings essentially forming a square behind my building. We used to call this space the shaft. Across the shaft from me there was a girl around my age, at the time, 20 something who would never wear clothes. And she kept her curtains open all the time. I'd wake up and look out the window facing the shaft and see her cooking an omelette, fully naked. Sometimes before bed she'd do stretches in her room. Naked. In the morning she'd get dressed for work with the blinds fully open. I swear I saw her breasts more frequently than my girlfriend's. One night I came back from the bars and looked across the shaft and saw that she wasn't alone. This was weird because despite her nakedness I rarely saw her with anyone else she didn't have a boyfriend or anything. She was in her room with three other people, two guys and a girl, and they were all naked too. They weren't having coitus or anything, but they were all kind of in a pile on the bed, naked together. I still wonder what her deal was. Was she a nudist or something? In any case, that's the weirdest thing I've seen through someone else's windows. When I was in college, our dorms were basically high-rise apartments. One night I was looking out the window, contemplating life, when I saw a man and woman having coitus in a building across the street, like perfect view of everything, their bed was directly in front of the window. I called my roommates over, and we kinda just watched for a minute, then we opened our window, and started cheering them on. The guy glanced over, grinned and kept going. We were basically watching live coitus. TL. Doctor this kid was spinning the crap out of himself. I was smoking on a balcony with some friends, when we saw something moving in someone's window it was someone's living room and some kid, maybe 4 years old, had his arms out airplane style. He was spinning around the room so goddamn hard he kept popping in and out of view and genuinely lasted longer than anyone expected I don't know how, but he must have been going for a full 5 minutes, bouncing off his couch every so often. By the end we were cheering him on. In Toronto, I rented the top floor of a house. The house behind us was set back from the street, and the houses on either side were almost in front of it, so you could barely see it from the street. They had planted tall bushes and tress, so you couldn't see the hidden house. But we could, from our fire escape slash balcony. We almost never saw who lived there. I was having a dart up on the fire escape one morning, and I see their back door open up, and a guy in his early to mid 40s come out in a bathrobe. He lights a dart as well. We give each other a little open palm wave and nod. A minute later, 
a black woman comes out in a bathrobe, looking to be naked underneath, and she takes a drag off his cigarette. Then another woman, a white woman, comes out, also in a bathrobe, and admonishes the first two for smoking. The guy puts it out, and they all go back inside. A couple of months later I noticed the guy, the two women and four kids at the local park. Two white kids, two mix ethnicity kids, all around the same age. That dude was living large on the down low. Was staying over at a friend's place in Edinburgh, was on the pull out sofa. They didn't have curtains in the front room, just blinds, and a balcony beyond that. The railing was all glass. The blinds didn't come down all the way, so I could look out to the flats across the way from where I was laying. Watched a couple have a roaring argument, and then saw him deck her. Woke up my friend, and called the police. I had to get on a train in just a few hours, so they said I should go back to sleep, and they'd keep watch on the couple slash flat until the police came. Lived in this one complex growing up, kinda place where we were section 8 housing, but right across the street were high end apartments and I think condos. I could see into the kitchen of a bit of a footy. This was 88, 89 so that term didn't exist yet. I was at the time learning to cook myself so this was like a live cooking show every night. Then there was what I know, was a mock turtle soup recipe. But at the time it was, like I was watching someone just do obscene things to a few calf heads. Looked over and they were splitting them to get the brains out. Mailing tongues to a board and peeling them. Gore all over the kitchen. An incredibly hot woman sunbathing topless on a rooftop in the middle of the day. But this roof wasn't taller than its adjacent buildings. Oh no. This was like a 10 story building surrounded on all 4 sides by massive high rises. All told she was flashing them out to maybe 50 floors worth of office drones, many of whom I'm sure were pressed to the window glass. She probably reduced nationwide GDP for the day by at least a cool million. I'm starting to think she was a model hired by the apartment owner in order to get more interest in the apartment so that they could raise rent prices. 